Good morning and welcome to yet another edition of Yes 101 Visual Radio on News First, bringing you the news this morning. I am Mariam Gunavichaya. Taking a look at your top stories this morning, postal ballot papers for the presidential election have been printed. The government printer says that the postal ballot papers have been handed over to the National Election Commission. Now, the reserved packets containing 90 postal ballots are scheduled to be delivered to the Department of Posts. Deputy Postmaster General Rajita Rangsingh says that the distribution of the ballot papers will also begin tomorrow. Now, postal voting for the presidential election will be held from the 4th to the 6th of September, and the government employees who are unable to vote by post on these dates will have an additional opportunity on the 11th and 12th of September. Meanwhile, all postal workers' leave has been suspended until after the elections. Deputy Postmaster General Rajita Ranasinghe says that this decision was made due to the crucial responsibilities associated with the presidential election. He adds that if leave is necessary for essential reasons, then it can be requested to the provincial deputy postmaster generals. Meanwhile, election monitoring organizations have observed a rise in complaints over the presidential election. The network of election monitors has recorded 274 complaints. Chairman Sabarana Harishandra says that majority of these complaints involve allegations of state property misuse. The Center for Election Monitoring Violence has recorded 134 complaints, while the Election Commission has received a total of 901 complaints related to the presidential election. Of these, 877 pertain to alleged breaches of election laws. The police have also logged 23 complaints related to violations of election laws. Today in local news, employees of the Sri Lanka Transport Board aged 40 and above have been required to obtain medical records. The SLTB says that this decision was prompted by the recent death of a bus driver who suffered a medical emergency while driving the bus yesterday. Accordingly, all employees over 40 will be mandated to provide medical records every four months. All drivers will also be notified of this requirement effective tomorrow. International News. A crisis cabinet has been set up by the Sao Paulo state government to deal with wildfires which have put 30 Brazilian cities on alert. Flames have killed two people and smoke has disrupted traffic on a dozen highways while the capital Sao Paulo is shrouded in a grey haze. According to reports, soaring temperatures and low humidity are stoking dangerous fire conditions in the state which has endured a prolonged drought. Sports News. And in sports news, it's cricket. England secured a five wicket victory over Sri Lanka in the first test match at Old Trafford last night. Sri Lanka batting first managed to score 236 runs and in response, England put up a strong total of 358 runs. Sri Lanka's second inning saw them score 326 runs, with Kamindu Mendes claiming a century and Dinesh Chandimal contributing 79 runs. England successfully chased down the target of 205 runs, winning the match in 57 overs and two balls. Joe Root remained unbeaten at 62 runs. Asita Fernando and Prabhaja Suraj claimed two wickets for Sri Lanka. And with this win, England has taken a 1-0 lead in the three-match test series. Well, those are your top stories for this morning. Join us again in this afternoon's edition of Visual Radio. For the News First Team, I'm Mariam Ganavijaya.